Well, a unique partnership is being credited for saving dozens of lives during the pandemic. Joe Little from the NBC affiliate in San Diego was in Brawley today and explains how competing hospitals put business aside in order to take on the pandemic. During this godforsaken pandemic, we've told you countless stories about businesses teaming up to make things work. Well, that's kind of what UC San Diego did, only they were doing it to keep people alive. Let me just call this patient first. Dr. Jay Buenaflor knows all about teamwork. It's very important. Uh, good morning, it's Dr. Buenaflor. He's a pediatrician in Brawley. I don't think you have that one. One of the COVID-19 epicenters last year. It, it, was devastating. Dr. Buenaflor says his clinic took every precaution. But uh, unfortunately, I got the virus. It, it's scary. It was scary. He was hospitalized here in San Diego, placed on a ventilator, and eventually attached to an ECMO. I have some billing. The ECMO is an external machine that pumps and puts oxygen and blood for a patient. Okay. It basically gives the patient's heart and lungs a chance to heal. Is there anyone sick in the house right now? He was one of the sickest patients we've had. Dr. Mazin Odish cared for Buena Flora at UC San Diego. I would love to say he's my patient. I help take care of him. But, you know, again, it's that massive team that we have that helps take care of all these patients. The overwhelming number of patients during the pandemic forced the team to get even bigger in 2020, Dr. Odish says UC San Diego Health and competitors Sharp Healthcare, Scripps Health, and Rady Children's Hospital teamed up to form the ECMO Consortium. No rest. ECMO is a limited resource, right? We only have so many machines. The hospitals share equipment like the ECMO to make sure everyone is covered. It's patients first, and I think all three um, health systems care about our patients first. We care about the communities that we service. Dr. Odish says the consortium saved at least 97 lives, yeah. including Dr. Buena Flor, who was finally taken off the machines after two months. It pretty much saved my life. All right, bye bye. In Brawley, Joe Little, NBC7. Wow, aren't they for what they're doing, truly? Yeah, it's definitely. Amazing.